people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome to a very late upload. It's currently 10 a.m. I was lying in my bed getting ready for an early bedtime tonight and then Jason Blum had other plans. So this is going to be a very late upload for FNAF news though if you are watching this as soon as it comes out that's how I know you're dedicated to staying up to date with everything going on with FNAF and if you're not one of those people but you want to be included in that group feel free to scroll down tickle that subscribe button we talk about FNAF news all the gosh dang time but we're not only here today to talk about the FNAF movie. We got a whole bunch of other reveals on Daco's recent charity live stream. So we're going to be talking about that as well as a whole bunch more stuff. So let's not waste any more time. Once again, scroll down, tick that sub button, and let's hop right into it. First up for book news, we got our first preview for the upcoming Fazbear Frights graphic novel collection volume four. We got a few panels for the upcoming adaptation of The Breaking Wheel, which is a very interesting story to adapt because if you've read that story, you know it gets very very gruesome, very quick. So I'm going to be curious to see how exactly they decide to adapt those elements from the story. In this first look, we meet our main character, Reed, I believe, as well as the twins of Shelly and Pickle. The book so far will include the stories The Breaking Wheel, The Cliffs, as well as Sergio's Lucky Day, and it's going to release on December 26th of this year. Moving on now to some brand new U2's news. First up, we got Dalko teasing his next figure, which I believe is like his fourth figure, which is crazy. This is the concept art for Puppet Daco, not called the Poopit Daco, which is a little disappointing. Though, of course, the Puppet, the Poopit, has been a long time uh, running meme in Daco's community. Of course, now he's taking on the appearance of the Puppet. He's inside the gift box. He's also got a Chibi Freddy plushie and soon to be as well a Chibi Bonnie plushie poking out from the box as well. No release date for this exactly just yet, but Daco did say it's going to be coming out pretty soon. For some brand new plushies, we got two teased. First up, we got sitting Montgomery Gator. Seems like you U2's is gearing up for another release of adaptations of their previous plushies, you can see right over here. So we've got the back of Sitting Monty, they did also reveal that they gave him pants this time, because a lot of people pointed out his figure did not come with pants, so he was a bit naked there. And on TikTok, they also showed off their upcoming Sitting Roxanne Wolf plushie, which looks absolutely adorable. Not entirely sure if I'm going to be picking up these brand new Sitting plushies, because like I said, I've already got the originals, as adorable as these guys are. I mean, you know, they're pretty expensive to get duplicates. But I'd love to know what are your thoughts on these brand new reveals from U2's for plushies as well as Daco's next figure. Moving on now, speaking of Daco's charity stream, once again, he showed off three amazing brand new looks at upcoming Hex products. First up was the prototype for Withered Foxy. Like I said, keep in mind this is a prototype, so stuff's definitely going to be changing before the release. For example, Daco mentioned they wanted to make the hook a bit smaller, as well as change up the structure of his snout, the marking on his face, you know, the chest area. So definitely still a lot of things they want to adjust with this plushie, but Honestly, it looks spot on to Withered Foxy already. Next up, they showed the prototype for Withered Bonnie, which as you can see, features a detachable faceplate. So you can choose if you want to display your Withered Bonnie plush with his face or without his face like we see in FNAF 2. Once again, this is another prototype Daco mentioned for changes. He wants to change the amount of wires as well as their length coming out of his arm. But from the looks of it, these Withered plushies are turning out perfectly. I was very surprised at how well they've adapted these very complex designs into plushies. And speaking of complex designs being turned into plushies, this is the concept art for the Hex Springtrap plush. Daco showed this to me a couple weeks ago, and I was and still am absolutely blown away by what they were able to achieve with the concept art alone. This guy's definitely not going to be coming out for a long time, but I really hope they can nail the plushie, because once again, the concept art has blown me away. He's going to have metallic eyes, as well as having wires coming out of some of his body areas, just like the Withered's. Once again, I'd love to know what are your thoughts on the prototypes for the Wither plushies, and how do you feel about Springtrap's concept art? Taking a quick pit stop at Pop Goes because Pop Goes as well got a whole bunch of reveals over on Daco's charity stream. First up, we got a brand new phone case for Pop Goes Evergreen inspired by the tape recorder as seen in Five Nights at Candy's 3. Definitely a surprise announcement. Was not expecting a collaboration between these two titles, but it is absolutely amazing to see. It also plays music when you toggle between the room and vent cameras, which is just an amazing touch. Next up, we got the reveal of a second Pop Goes U2's pin set, this time based 
on the Halloween costumes the characters are going to be wearing in the trading cards in Evergreen. And something extra special about these characters is that Pop Goes, Skeleton Pop Goes, actually glows in the dark. No exact release date for these guys just yet, but it seems like they're aiming for a spooky time release. Thirdly, we got the reveal of the car park camera in Pop Goes Evergreen featuring Stone the Crow, as you can see. Very cool thing about this camera is that it will be changing the time of day as you view it throughout the game. This is going to be mostly uh, noticeable in endless mode where you can see the full, you know, 24 hour stretch from sunrise to sunset take place throughout this camera. That's going to be amazing to see and it's an amazing environment. What can I say? Still just blown away by how realistic this camera looks. I mean, Kane and the team, you did a fantastic job. And lastly, we got the terrifying reveal of normal balloon boy who then becomes not so normal balloon boy who then finally becomes false balloon boy this is a full look at his model and jesus christ he is terrifying there was also a surprise jump scare that Darko got while viewing the model of false balloon boy which was absolutely terrifying and also very amusing to see Darko get scared by because it was very frightening like i said if you want more info on the brand new pop goes reveals in the charity stream there's going to be a link down below to kane's video which shows not only Darko's reaction but a bit more information on each reveal and lastly for pop goes today is actually the anniversary the seventh anniversary of the series and in celebration can release some brand new wallpapers. The first one we've got is, of course, the brand new revealed False Balloon Boy as well as False Freddy. And now, whew, let's talk about the movie. A couple days ago, people were able to find out that a second trailer, which had a runtime of 2 minutes and 25 seconds, was rated in Finland. Now, some people were skeptical about this news. It was the same length, about the same length as that leaked trailer we got, about two and a half minutes, so people are thinking it was gonna be that, but again, this was only one report. It was in Finland of all places, you know, no disrespect to the fin people living in Finland. But then, just now, we got some custom FNAF Twitter hashtags, and this was big. I mean, not only do you have them showing up for Freddy, you know, FNAF, Five Nights at Freddy's movie, you've also got Bonnie and Chica and Foxy and frickin' Mr. Cupcake as well. So something big was going down, something big was coming, and lo and behold, a couple minutes later, Jason Blum tweeted out this. Buckle your seatbelts, tomorrow is gonna be a big day. At FNAF Movie, and then all the brand new hashtags. So the second trailer, the first full-length trailer, because, you know, as opposed to the teaser video, which was only like 40 seconds, this is a full two and a half minute long trailer, it's real. And it's coming out tomorrow. Now, when Scott actually replied to all the drama because of the leaked trailer back in May, this is what he had to say. For those of you who resisted watching it, I think you'll be much happier when you're able to see a finished product that is edited and polished with VFX and proper sounds. And like I said, because this brand new trailer is about the same length as that leaked trailer, a lot of people are thinking this is the finished version of that trailer. That's really all we know right now. I'd love to know what are you hoping to see in this brand new trailer and that is gonna do it for this FNAF news video of course like I said subscribe so you don't miss out on when that trailer gets posted because you betcha we'll be doing a reaction and analysis to it but thank you all so much for watching this very late upload for FNAF news hope you're all doing well and get hyped FNAF movie is coming soon